welcome to this next session and today we have Raymond Mamata from Ghana so he is a prominent ICANN leader and uh, and he has been doing a lot of community engagement so Raymond I have a question for you uh, how do you see the ICANN multi-stakeholder model uh, going on and uh, what are your suggestions and how have you uh, evolved with it okay thank you so if the ICANN multi-stakeholder system is a very prominent one which has room for almost everyone to engage in. Talking of the end users, talking of the, the lawyers, the non-profits, the technical, the ISPC, everybody, almost everybody has a role to play in the multi-stakeholder system that ICANN has adopted. And I think it is really going on well and I would say it's a pay sector for many other entities also to copy such. One very important one that I'll mention is the, the AI that is an ongoing discussion lately. And I think AI needs to adopt the ICANN multi-stakeholder system so that we can have everyone to express their views and their thoughts on how AI should be governed and should be handled. Currently, we all know of the UN Advisory Board for AI, and we have the Africa Union Strategy for AI, we have the UNESCO Project for AI, so everybody is doing little, little of AI, and I would want to use this medium to encourage that we should all adopt the ICANN approach for AI governance and how to go about it. So that's how I want to divert it into because AI is one of the very topical issues currently that is very much ongoing. And I can have set the pace for, for the multi-stakeholder ecosystem. So, uh, you know, the second question would be, uh, you know, you have been a leader in the uh, community and you see the multi-stakeholder practice. So what do you think is the main challenge, especially for the different communities that are here within this big uh, one community? So how can we improve or how can we create uh, sustainable solutions, create a collaborative way where we can bring about everyone? Okay. So the, we have the various sectors that are working and I think it is doing quite very well. The major issue that I find is that it is the outsiders who are finding problem with it. I read an article not quite long ago about how ICANN ecosystem, the multi-stakeholder ecosystem is working. And when you read through fully, you realize that the person has never even stepped into any ICANN meeting before. And this is somebody who you are standing outside criticizing something that you have not experienced before. So me that have uh, gone through the process for a while now, I think the, the approach that ICANN is adopting as the multi-stakeholder system is good. And the only improvement I think that we need to make is to make more room intentionally to get on board more people from the, the global south, my African entities, because I just left the, IS, the IPC, Internet, Intellectual Property Constituency Meeting, and they mentioned that if not, they don't have people from the other places, especially Africa. And when you see their, even their leadership, four from US, I think three or four from US, and one from uh, one of the European countries, nobody from Africa. So no. the improvement that I think needs to be done is to make an intentional effort. I'm, 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 I'm stressing on the word intentional effort to get people from the global south to be represented in these multi-stakeholder engagements. So my last question to you is, uh, you know, when we define multi-stakeholder, the definition itself is different than the practice and values of multi-stakeholders. What do you think, uh, and as you have already mentioned about uh, the situation that is currently lasting, so are you suggesting more, more, uh, more outreach and engagement or a value-based approach? The, I think more outreach and engagement needs to be done because the, if you mention ICANN, 
except you get closer to somebody who is engaged in ICANN, you may not really understand. So more of outreach and engagement needs to be done. And one peculiar example that I use in most of these cases is when the request came from the Ukrainian government to ICANN to revoke the the uh, one one of the it, there was a name the other countries CCTLD. The request that came, if they really understand how I can work, they only have put such requests at the first place. So we really need to make more outreach and engagement, especially the GAC, which has the IGO, the international organizations, and the governmental entities. The GAC needs to really make more outreach and engagement, especially to the governmental entities, so that we wouldn't have any such funny requests which is a total disgrace to the country. So I believe we need to do more outreach and engagement for people to know what ICANN is about, their mandate, what they can do and what they cannot do. Thank you Raymond for that and thank you. Thank you.